Hey YouTube, how's it going? <laughs> well, it's doing pretty decent here today. The weather is starting to get kind of warmish. As I understand it, it got up to a little over 80 degrees here in Tulsa today. And uh, it's like a whopping 77 here in my room right now. Because if I read the controls on the uh, thermostat correct, it's uh, actually currently disabled. And right now it's just a thermometer. But uh, I'm expecting air conditioning will be a thing before the temperature gets too hideously unbearable. Although it's already at a point where I can easily work up a sweat just by standing up and sitting down three or four times. Yeah, that's right. Stand up, sit down. Stand up, sit down. Do that about five times and I am sitting there worked up one serious sweat because it's a lot of work standing up when you can only use one leg to do it. You know, there's a trick. Find yourself a position, you ought to try this, find yourself a position where you are, you can sit where you're close to something you can grab a hold of or lean on that is sturdy, can actually hold your weight, otherwise you will fall and break something and uh, then you just using that thing or wall or what have you to support yourself just simply stand up the catch in this thing is that you are only allowed to have one foot touch the ground the entire time you now in my case my right foot was removed so i'm doing this all with nothing but my left leg and my arms and hands for balance and grabbing a hold of things. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not as easy as you might think. I guarantee it. It's a work. It is definitely a piece of work to do. So, yeah, I, I'm doing stuff. I've done, I did stuff like that while the therapist was here and then during the rest of the time, I'm doing sorted exercises, leg exercises, and so on, to uh, not only for strength training, but also just to maintain range of movement and uh, and full flex and so on and so forth for when I get to the point where a uh, prosthetic becomes possible, which could be anywhere from two to six months or maybe as long as a year. I really don't know for sure. Anywho, meanwhile, in between all that, I have been dragging myself, kicking and screaming into the latter half of the 21st century. <laughs> and by that, what I mean is I am finally getting around to setting up certain things so that I can access them from my cell phone. And that means, like, I've got my primary email address now is accessible uh, by way of the Gmail app on my cell phone. And between that and using the cell phone's number, I've got two-factor authentication set up on several things, like my PayPal, my bank account, and so on. So now when I go to log into one of these things, I get a little message, a text message with an authorization code that helps to make sure that I'm the only one that can log into them and that I can do it from cell phone. And that's the main thing, being able to do this stuff from the phone. Because I had the phone with me when I first went into the hospital back in the 19th or 20th of March. And, uh, well, late night on the 19th, I believe. It was evening, whatever. But, uh, you know, I had the phone with me then. But I didn't have any of this stuff set up. And now I'm getting it set up. I am not going to be caught out like that again. Absolutely freaking literally not. And once I get back to my desktop PC and so on, I've come up with something I'm going to do. I'm going to make myself a very special key ring. I am going to get something. I looked around on Amazon and I found a one terabyte flash drive. And it's designed, you can tell by looking at it, it's intended to be a key ring. I'm going to get that. I'm going to use it as a key ring. 
and I am going to load onto it copies of important stuff that I don't wish to lose and so on and put together some kind of batch file on the computer itself that will update that every now and then so that I don't get caught out like this again. That I don't ever want to have happen again. And you might want to think about it. Especially those of you who do YouTube stuff and do any kind of online activity on a regular basis. Do you have a way to access it if you lose access to your PC? That's a good question. Yeah. And it's one that I should have asked myself and done something about a long time ago because a lot of the aggravation involved in this would have been much less severe. Anyway, that's what I've been doing today. Uh, just mostly taking it easy. Plus, I've also discovered something on the local cable system around here because, you know, I'm in the big city now. And that means that everybody's got cable or satellite or some kind of thing where there's 80 bajillion channels on the TV. And yes, I normally don't watch television, but I'm in a situation here where there isn't much at all to do. And you can only stand looking at a cell phone or trying to do anything on a cell phone just so much every day. And you have to put it down and do something else. So I got looking at the TV. This cable system... Uh, Cox, I believe it's called, it actually has a uh, working guide channel built into it. And I found something cool. The original Law & Order series that started in 1990. Sundance Channel has had a marathon on that sucker going all day and all night. So I am sit ba sitting back watching some classic original law and order and that's pretty good i wonder what i'll do when it when the marathon ends at midnight i'll probably look around and see i've noticed a few other channels doing marathons uh like i ran into some old episodes of nypd blue on another channel i think it was usa i'm not sure i don't look at too much of that stuff but there's a bunch of stuff out there to look at if I get extremely bored. Anyway, I think I'm starting to rattle and ramble. So it's time to get off of this thing and get back to some law and order, actually. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.